Hey everybody. So I'm gonna be decorating for my niece's sweet 16 birthday party. And it's gonna be Princess and the Frog, Princess Tiana theme. So the colors are gonna be green, purple, a soft gold or cream, and white. And that's gonna match the, the New Orleans, you know, Mardi Gras colors, as well as the like Swamp Bayou colors that's associated with that movie. So um, for this situation, I put up some soft gold and white colored um, curtains that I already had. And on this side, I'm gonna be having the display table with the, you know, cake and stuff like that. And I'm gonna have purple and green shimmery curtains to go with the soft gold on this side. I have my box with backdrop, and if you want to know how to install that, I will leave the link of how to install that in the description box below. I'm gonna be putting some white florals up on here, and then I wanna have a mosaic 16 like in the corner somewhere over here, and a happy birthday neon sign going across. On the tables, um, I will be having some lime green um, tablecloths, and then some centerpieces, which I will make out of some Mardi Gras beads and feathers because, you know, it lends to the New Orleans theme of the Princess and the Frog. A uh, couple tips here. I wanted to save money on curtains. I already have the cream and white curtains here, but I wanted to save money on some curtains. So I purchased this fabric from Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off last week, so I purchased it. So I just simply folded the fabric over and used some hot glue to make it stick to the fabric. And this is how I made my loop to put through my backdrop rod. Okay, so to attach my happy birthday neon sign, I just used some 15 pound fishing line and I tied it through those loops at least three times to make sure it's nice and secure. Then I used the silver hooks that came in the pack with the sign to hook that sign onto the backdrop. After untangling the cords, I just disconnected the connectors and I slid them through the boxwood backdrop. There's little like holes or squares in the back of that backdrop that you can just slide it through. And then I reconnected those cords on the back of the backdrop so that you will not see the cord. So I got this ribbon from Hobby Lobby, it's 12 yards, and I got this tool from Hobby Lobby as well. It's 55 inches wide, and I got five yards, and it was on sale. Hobby Lobby has a sale every other week for 40% off of its fabrics. So I'm cutting this tool in strips that are three inches wide. Now I'm just gonna create a loop in the tool and then I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm gonna put it over the tool. You want it over, not behind the tool. Then I'm gonna take the tail end of the tool, wrap it over the ribbon and through the loop of the tool. And that's how I'm making my pieces for my tool skirt. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to make my centerpieces for the tables. So I got this little purple vase from the Dollar Tree, okay? I got these beads here, these Mardi Gras beads from Amazon. I also got these Mardi Gras colored feathers from Amazon. And these are actually more purple in real life than they are on camera. These are looking a little pink on camera, but they're actually like the same color as the um, 
this tablecloth here and the tablecloth is purple too so trust me it's more purple than you think i also got this uh crown kit from hobby lobby it comes with i think 10 crowns and i got these yard sticks like little clear yard sticks from the dollar tree Now to bake the base of this centerpiece, I'm taking some mossy matte peel and stick that I got from Hobby Lobby and some round styrofoam that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to peel that mat off and put it onto the styrofoam, wrap it around the styrofoam. And that's going to be like my little grass base. Then I'm just going to hot glue gun that vase right there, put it onto my grassy base. And then I got a couple of wood numbers that I painted gold with uh, some glitter. And I got those from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to glue gun those onto the vase. I'm actually gluing the one onto the six because it doesn't fit on the vase. And here's my table centerpiece. I added some Mardi Gras beads that I got off Amazon and some cute little frogs that I bought from Hobby Lobby on sale. So the balloons that I used were, I believe, Simpertex Fashion Lilac, 12 inches and 5 inches, and Simpertex Fashion Green, 12 inches and 5 inches, and Simpertex Chrome Gold, 12 and 5 inch. So now I'm making my balloon column. So um, if you want to use a balloon sizer to get your balloons the same size, you can do that. I just eyed mine. So I have this little stand here that I got from Amazon. Put a little water in the base and you know i've used this stand several times that's why it looks like that so i'm going to put my first layer of balloons onto the stand and i'm going to twist the balloons over to get them nice and secure on the stand then i'm going to take a second layer and i'm going to take one neck from one balloon in that second layer right there slide it on top of the first layer and I'm going to take that neck from that one balloon and the neck from another balloon in the bottom purple layer. And I'm going to tie the two necks together. And that's how I'm going to be connecting my layers to my balloon column. Just tying them together so they stay nice and secure on the pole. Now you can do your balloon column any way you want. I chose to do it in this pattern because I was low on my chrome gold balloons. Now I'm going to take a 260Q balloon and wrap it around a couple times around my gold foil crown balloon. Then I'm going to attach a cluster of 5 inch chrome gold balloons to this and then attach it to the top of this balloon column. Now I'm getting my balloons ready for my mosaic balloon number 16. 
I'm blowing up my balloons, kind of sizing them so that they can fit inside of my 16. I'm tying them and then I'm cutting the neck off so that when I put those balloons into the mosaic number 16, they will stick in there nice and good. I'm using some glue dashes to attach these balloons to this number right here. I don't like using a glue gun. It gets really messy to me and it's a cleaner look with the glue dashes. Make sure you use glue dashes and not glue dots. The glue dashes are strong enough. And you just press that balloon firmly against the surface of that number 16. And it will stick. And I'm doing that with all of them. I put the balloons in there first because I wanted to size it and make sure that they all fit in there. Now I'm adding my 5 inch decorators using the glue dots and I'm just covering up the gaps in a nice little pattern making sure I don't go over the edges of the numbers. And here is the finished product. So I'm just showing you how I'm adding clusters to my balloon garland that I used around the cake table. I'm just using 260 balloons to attach these clusters and that also includes the 5 inch clusters as well. So here is the finished product to the Princess and the Frog themed Sweet 16 birthday decor that I did for my niece's birthday party. If you want to know where I got my materials, I will post the links to those items in the description box below this video. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe and you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I will see you guys later.